Courtney Cox here with Doug Kide as the Patriots take down the Jets 30 to 14. The Patriots defense continuing to roll here, not letting up a touchdown since last January. So I got to ask you, what was it today that kept them going? I think it's really a lot of the chemistry on defense that they have. It's the chemistry, the communication. I still don't think this is necessarily the most talented defense, but it's very experienced. Uh, they, they've had a lot of the same players year after year. So tonight, one of the big guys was Jamie Collins. He was making plays out there, but this team in general is making a lot of plays. They had five sacks. They had the interception, lots of tackles for loss, but they were just really stout up front against Le'Veon Bell. They played this game really smart. They knew that Bell could not beat them on the ground. So they really just kind of stacked the line, let Danny Shelton eat up a lot of space, let Lawrence Guy and Adam Butler eat up a lot of space, and then let the linebackers in the back end kind of clean things up and they can trust their secondary. They've got an extremely talented secondary. Uh, Stefan Gilmore played a great game against Robbie Anderson, who's really one of the only big Jets threats on offense. So it was just really a complete performance. There's not one real specific standout player. Everyone is excelling right now. Everyone was asked in the locker room kind of about Devin McCourty. What did you see out of him tonight? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had the, the interception out there. He's got three interceptions in three games so far this season. So he's had a really hot start to the year. Uh, you know, the one today was was kind of a gimme. It was more like a punt return maybe, like, more than an interception. But I think that he's been playing really well right now. They haven't been giving, giving up big plays, and a lot of that falls on Devin McCourty. You see this going towards when they go to Buffalo? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Buffalo is not the greatest offense either. I think that if anything, they could probably get some more turnovers against Buffalo. Josh Allen doesn't protect the ball that well uh, through the air, so I think that we might see those interceptions building on each other. All right, well, there you have it. Great stuff from Doug. As always, you can follow along with him on Twitter at Doug Kide or myself at Cox Courtney. Keep it locked in. Nesson.com. We will have all your coverage as the Patriots head to Buffalo mm -hmm. with Doug. <laughs>